That's very, a shock though, that uh, Iger being so about the fans and feeling connected. And I, that's why I also don't understand what the park fans have such nostalgia for him is that if, if he was so in touch with what they felt, why did he promote JPEG to uh, <laughs> heads of parks and, inter- and consumer yep. products and then CEO? I mean, and yeah, Alia, yeah, that's 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 a that's the billion dollar question, and 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 I'll even take it a step further because the the anointed one, the 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 perfect, <laughs> uh, the perfect guy that we that we all call oh. Josh Diamaro. Oh, no. oh yes, Josh Diamaro. Huh? Josh Diamaro, who 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 Park fans love because you know what? He said hi to me that one time when I was in Avengers <laughs> Campus, and he rolls up his sleeves and he's super good looking and he's got a great smile. That guy. Um, well, if you really don't like JPEG, keep in mind that one of JPEG's first decisions as CEO was promoting Daddy Josh mm-hmm. to that job that he had. Yes. <laughs> right? So Mr. JPEG, who you hate and loathe and has every bad instinct in the world and is a terrible leader, decided that your guy, Daddy Josh, is the right guy for to head the parks. Well, look, I'm not saying that Josh is a bad guy or saying he's a bad leader. I don't really know. But if you don't like JPEG and his decision-making process, well, you should definitely look at the the fact that uh, Josh was the first thing he did <laughs> when he was CEO. I think that says a lot. Okay, please them and say, you know, hey, you know, I know you don't like me too much, but hey, I heard you like this guy. Here you go. <laughs> it's like an olive branch. But <laughs> and, you know, and say something like, interesting, like you guys said too, with Bob Iger. It's like, well, you love Bob Iger. You think he's he does these. He has great instincts and great decision making skills, and he's a great leader. But yet, he was the guy who promoted your JPEG, who you hate. So it's like there's a, there's a big disconnect. Well, hey, well, the bigger disconnect is is they blame JPEG for everything that the parks you know seemingly do, even though Josh Demaro's in charge. So it's like, how does that whole thing work? Like, you know, how, I, I, I mean, know come you on. too have made those points to you know, right. reading and on streams just. Disconnect. How do you, how do you like, this is the thing. And, and, and this is the one thing, like, I don't care what opinion anyone has mm-hmm. on this channel. We welcome all opinions. Me, Dre and I disagree on a lot, you know, and, and, I, and that, that's cool. You know, I love that. But like the thing with uh, like, just be consistent. And that's the thing with the fandom is like, okay, if you're going to have this notion right now, the buck stops here, JPEG is the guy, he's a CEO everything to, to blame with the parks and everything else down is his fault. But well, okay, that's good. And that's great. And I respect that. But why wasn't it the buck stops here when Bob Iger was a CEO? How come JPEG still got all the shit when he was running the parks division? Yeah, He was running the parks. Never. He got all the blame for it. And Bob Iger, it was never the buck stops here with Bob Iger. It was the parks guy, JPEG. Then JPEG is promoted to CEO and now it's the buck stops here, and it's the CEO's fault. I, what? Yeah, I, that, that's the big question. Even though we know that Iger was influential in the parks, he never seems to get any of the criticism. He never seems to get, you know, I mean, some of, some decisions, obviously, a lot of them are going to be, you know, in the purview of who's ever in the parks division in the first place. But some decisions, they do emanate from C-suite. And it's, you know, it's like, you know, hey, at least be consistent in these in these matters. And and honestly, these things are done by teams of people. We kind of put the blame on, you know, one person or another. But, hey, you know, some of these are by committee. Some of these things uh, ha- have have, you know, have 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 kind of outstanding histories with with a lot of, uh, you know, nuance to them. You know, it's it's quite fascinating, quite interesting. It's, you know, it's interesting. Showcase of wishes, our, our buddy online. Uh, apparently he's. Apparently he was at the forefront of all this, uh, 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 you know, hating on Iger <laughs> back in back in the, back when the you know the, the the parks were under him, so to speak, and, and and didn't agree with his decisions. And hey, you know what? That is somebody who's been consistent. He always hates on the C- CEO. So there you go. I mean, you know, you, you know what? And that's one hundred percent. And and I'm, I'm consistency, consistency, yeah, yeah, <laughs> consistency. And that's the one thing. That, like, and and Dre, we're we're really good friends with Showcase. I mm-hmm. I, I love that. I love Showcase. I mean, I respect him. And 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 you're right. He's always had that like consistency, right? Like it's not, it's not, he doesn't have that selectiveness. It, he was, he was, he was blaming Iger back then. Now he's blaming Chapek. And you know what? That's great. 
consistency. That's all it is, is consistency, you know? Yeah. And I love that about him. And, and I respect that about him. And a lot of fans, they, they, it's, it's, it's too much about the personality and the charisma. I've talked to I a know. lot of fans, including people, I'm not going to name names, but including <laughs> people in my own life, like close, like family. I'll ask them, like, well, what don't you like about JPEG? Well, and, and I always hear stuff like, well, I don't know. He's just not charisma. He doesn't have the charisma that Bob Iger had. And he just doesn't have like, you know, that like, so? that. I'm like, okay, I don't like, but who cares? I don't care how the guy talks. What's his <laughs> ideas? That's what I care about. And a lot of fans are like that. It's always comes down to like a personality contest. And that's why you see this sort of like, um, daddy Josh, right. Yeah. With like tomorrow and Chapek and how they, because it's about well oh well you know tomorrow he he's a good looking guy and he's got charisma and I like him so he can't be to blame for the lightning lane because I mean come on he said hi to me that one time in Avengers Campus like <laughs> well yeah well no some some people they complain all the time about what the direction of the parks what decisions they're making and stuff like that and then they wear the Josh tomorrow T shirts and it's like what like. What is this, dude? Like, what? How? And it's like, well, he's a good-looking guy. And it's like, what? Wha wha you know, I mean, Paul Presser wasn't a bad-looking guy either. But, hey, I can tell you, like, the, he was not the best fit for the Parks Division, okay? I, you know, it's I just, it's crazy how, how, you know, all these other factors come into play, you know? And, and yeah. it's just like... I think that's why Chapek threw his bat in with Wall Street because it's like they don't care. They just look <laughs> on return on investment. They're looking for their, uh, their uh, uh, what is it? Um, their you know return you know you know dividends and so forth. I mean that's what they care about, right? So I'm just gonna throw my lot in with them because you know they can kind of see through all of this. Whereas the historically. The parks have always been kind of run by a studio guy who's always kind of had that studio swagger, so to speak. And and I guess that's what people expect. And it's like, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's almost tribalistic in a way. And, yeah. and it's, it's kind of this, uh, you know, irrational thing. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not. And then there's people who've crossed paths with Chapek, I guess, around Christmas time, especially. He was at Disneyland and they had positive news about it. And everybody just was like, oh, <laughs> Worse. Then yes, you hear these accounts about tomorrow, and it's just isn't that weird? <laughs> oh.